Welcome back to another video. Hope you are having a great day. And today we are going to take a look at this awesome Philips display, a super wide, which besides a awesome image quality, it also has a KVM with one gigabit Ethernet connection, dual quad HD and some other interesting things. It has 45 inches with a 32 by 9 aspect ratio and we can use windows mac os linux or basically any other operating system that we want but in the case that you are using windows 10 or windows 11 and you still haven't activated don't forget to check out keys fan where you can find budget official om keys at an affordable price and with the coupon code that you can see on screen and down below on the video description it will get a bit cheaper so just in case the link will be down below just next to the Philips Series 6000. I will leave the link down below for prices and specifications. And that being said, let's take a closer look at it. And as you could see by some images, it is quite a strong monitor. It is heavy, it weighs 12 kilograms with the support with 113 centimeters on the diagonal. So we have a lot of space. Now the stand is really robust and unlike some others that we have seen that it's just a click clack system, this one actually we have to screw it in. Now there are advantages and disadvantages. The disadvantage that I can see is that it's a process that's a bit boring for screws. On the other hand, I've been using quite a few displays over the years and the click clack system, although it's really nice that we can quickly remove it and put it in. It's not as safe as this system right over here. So I do feel that I don't mind spending two minutes putting the screws because it's something that we only do it on the first day and then probably we'll leave it to the rest, but we get it safer. Now we also have the option for VES amount. So if I wanted to put on a wall, I can do so. And that's a great option as well. On the other hand, if I want to take advantage of the support or the stand, we will have 15 centimeters of height adjustment, rotation on 40 degrees on each side, and then an inclination between 5 and 15 degrees. In terms of resolution, we have 5120 by 1440. Which means that if we want to use it like this, we will have space enough to put our browser, our email clients and a few more apps. We can just arrange our space with several windows of different sizes on a single monitor. If we are going to use two machines, let's say one Windows and one Mac, we will have a perfect Quad HD dual display with a resolution of 2560 by 1440, which is one of the most used resolutions for gaming and some design setups. For example, if we are working on videos like 16 by 9, this is my favorite way of working, at least on the preview especially when we are working on this side and then we can preview on just Quad HD. Just an awesome experience. The panel is VA or Virtual Alignment, matte without glare, which helps a lot with reflections from lamps or even natural light that hits the display with some realistic and vibrant colors. And despite being VA, when we turn the monitor to weird angles that we probably are not going to use, but the colors do not shift that much. And although the angles are aggressive, in addition to the quality of the panel helping not shifting those colors, what I feel is that the curve also helps not to shift. So the experience overall is really nice. Now we have an aspect ratio of 32 by 9, which means that there are a lot of content on the web, for example, this video, which is 16 by 9, that if we play it right over here, what happens is that we have some sidebars uh, in black and this will be usual for the kind of content that we are 
seeing. Now, in my opinion, if I want to avoid that, probably I will use the quad HD function, put one right over here, and then let the other side of the display to do something else. But the truth is that more and more we will have content for 32 by 9, so it doesn't matter if it's cinematic or any other kind of format and especially the games which is one of the things that probably we want to take full advantage of the display then most new games and i would say almost 100 percent of the games but i'm not really sure but most of the games are compatible so we will be just fine using this 45 inches in 32 by 9 and if we take a look at older games like rocket league that we play for ages it's also compatible and the experience has been great i've been passing quite a few time around and it's just great and of course we are talking about games when i look at this display from philips series 6000 the first thing that comes to my mind it's not games at all it is a workspace that i can use for several windows for my emails and so on and so forth but the truth is that it has 75 hertz of refresh so it's a super wide display with a really nice refresh rate which is a balance i would say with a very sharp image and it gives a lot of fun to play if we are using a pc or even a console in addition to that it has hdr 400 which helps a lot with contrast and colors we can connect via hdmi 2.0 it has two connections one display port 1.4 two usb type c's that will transmit data image and power up to 100 watts which means that we can connect a laptop via the usb type c and we will have image we will have power and at the same time we will have also the hub function so i can connect just the cable of ethernet uh, up to one gigabit to the display and then when i arrive just connect one cable to my uh, laptop and i will have everything i don't need to worry about anything at all now besides that we also have two usb a ports and one audio output and if we are using two computers for example we can also take advantage of the kvm which means that i will be able to use one keyboard one mouse for two computers let's say one windows and one mac i don't need to be changing the peripherals and we also have on this side right over here usb type a and usb type c and one audio output it has picture in picture and picture by picture so we will be able to use as we have seen in some images the two quad hd displays or we can just have one as the main display and then the other one as a smaller image that we can choose to position and the sides that we prefer let's imagine that i'm doing a secondary task on the computer so i just need a small window right over here to see what's happening and then when it finishes the task probably i will swap and that is it it has two integrated sound speakers five watts each which i would say for productivity tasks will be more than enough we don't need anything else but for multimedia i would suggest either speakers like these that i have or similar that we have seen here on the channel so you can just browse around e se assim é, então estás no sítio certo, porque eu vou partilhar contigo, com simples e fácil é integrar o chat GPT diretamente no teu telefone. Or even headphones. Now, if we are using headphones, Philips has a really nice trick right over here. We just need to press a button. We can put the headphones right over here. And that is it. So a nice touch as well. The menu is simple to use and we will use these buttons right over here to navigate. It's done with these buttons with arrow up, arrow down and so on. So we are used to this kind of navigation with Philips displays. And in terms of options, we are used as well. We have all the options, image, contrast, brightness and so on and so forth. I'm sure that you are seeing there on screen. In addition to these options, there is a series of color presets that we can choose from and as well as an energy saving option through the sensor at the bottom that detects whether a human uh, is present or not. And if not, it will reduce the energy consumption up to 80%. Now, one of the things that we do a lot these days is video calls. And if I need to do one, I don't need to connect one to my laptop. I just need to press right over here. And there we go, a webcam ready to be used. And then if I don't want to use just one click 
and there we go. And this is the image quality that we can get out of the webcam integrated on the Philips Series 6000. Now, I haven't seen the footage, but for what I'm seeing right now on screen, it's just a really nice image. I don't have all the lights turned on, as you can see, but I don't see much noise on the image. So it is, in my opinion, more than acceptable. In terms of audio quality, we are also testing it out. This is the audio that we can get out of the display or the webcam. So in my opinion, more than enough for a video call or even for some content creation. But please let me know down below in the comment section, what do you think? So in conclusion, for those looking for a awesome display with a super wide format that has in mind the productivity and wants to use several windows, which I do on a daily basis and it's just awesome, this is a great option to consider. Now, besides that, if we want to, okay, I finished my work, but now I want to enjoy a series or a movie or any other kind of content, and also some gaming at a great experience, then this is a display that I believe to have everything that we would look on a display. That being said, hopefully the video was helpful in some way. And if it was, don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George, and as always, I'll see you on the next one.